What's up everyone? This is Joby the One here with a brand new series that I have created, The Week Of. It's basically where I'm going to follow any of these dream chasers, anybody doing something extraordinary, the week of something big in their life. This week, we are going to follow somebody that I've had on multiple podcasts, somebody that I've recorded a ton when I was editing pro wrestling shows. We're going to be following Logan Knight as he goes to catch his second heavyweight championship belt here in the state of Oklahoma. Roll that intro. All right, what's happening? We have made it to the location here in the city, uh, right basically amongst the skyscrapers and the rooftops. We are right here on top of parking garage right next to the Skirvin Hotel, if you know where that is. Uh, I'm waiting on Logan right now to get here. He said he's headed that way, so next clip you might just see him in it. I don't know. All right, I'm headed down. Basically this elevator right here. I'm gonna get him, bring him back up here. We're gonna start this damn episode. I will say it's quite spicy outside. It's probably like a good 90 already. So you know it's only gonna get hotter. Oh, I hate this elevator because you can see right off that edge. I actually have a video where I didn't want to step in the middle of it. I gotta see if I can get that and I'll put that in this episode. Oh my gosh, I also had a friend that went on this ledge and that's where she used to kick it at night. That's crazy. Well, that's make me nervous. The fact that under me, just nothing but road makes me nervous. Ugh. Hey, pretty good. I'm just looking for a Mr. Logan Knight. He's out here somewhere. Hey, right over here. Heck no, how's it going? It's going I like the shirt, by the way. Yeah, it's a little... Summer, I like no, it. No, no, no. I like that. Yeah, I just walked past this guy up over here. He was like, can I help you? I was like, yeah, I'm just looking for a Mr. Logan Knight. <laughs> Tell you, this is one of my favorite parts of the whole episode. Getting to get behind the scenes of filming promos is always one of my favorite parts. See, how long does it take you to write one of those? Oh, I wrote those in like 10 minutes at work yesterday. Really? It yeah. just comes to you in a flow? Kind of like writing a rap song? <laughs> like more or less. I, I did a lot of time doing like drama and stuff in high school and like middle school. So I kind of know how to just like off the head give a cadence for a certain type of like promo or character yeah. or something like that. But like I also, when I was going to college at uh, UCO, I did creative writing so it's just like i have to be good at on the fly writing like that to be good at other stuff so already we've learned something new about yeah, mr logan knight school knowledge yeah. into wrestling that's freaking awesome i tried my best because i i knew a lot of like wwe guys like uh someone who was inspirational but not like as a wrestler to me it was titus o'neill he like was good at some random like collegiate or academic type thing and it just so happened to keep him on board with wwe longer than he probably should be oh still <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah so uh he gets to be like their uh thing he's like their ambassador like their kid ambassador for like kid events or like uh maybe it's international events i can't remember but he's like some sort of ambassador person for them so for the wwe I that's thought cool maybe i need to have some like sort of secondary skill or something like that i like that so i did uh, creative writing and then i did uh, like public speaking so it, it kind of turns into just Meshed. promo class. Yeah, that's it, freaking it, cool. I'm not ignorant to the fact that you've been getting it from every angle possible. Between Al Farad and the Psychotic Messengers, you have a whole lot on your plate. But why not do the right thing? Well, this would have been where some questions were asked and some answers were answered, but like everything, something went wrong and my GoPro recorded in super fast mode. But don't you have no fret, because I still 
have the capability to get those questions asked and to get those answered answered. And I will sprinkle them through the rest of this episode. Did a thing of Portland and it showed like just miles and miles, like tens of hundreds of miles of just like interconnecting hallways to traffic people. Sheesh. Yeah, I was like, holy shit. And it wasn't for like, it wasn't like slavery or anything like that. Cause this is like Portland. So slavery was pretty much almost over with by the time Portland became a thing. Yeah, it was founded. Yeah. Dude, moral of the story is don't traffic people. Don't traffic. It's not cool. Yeah, really. Unfortunately, our adventure to the underground tunnels did not pan out as planned due to the fact that it was closed on 4th of July, but we made other improvisions and figured out something else to do. Here we're adding some extra time fly. on the park car so we don't get no happy 4th of July ticket. Nope. I paid for my freedom. Shoot, I feel that. We're about to hit up this Factory Obscura to walk inside the creative minds. Who put all that goo Some in the OKC bottle. artists. Ugh. Uh, yeah. Someone had their way. Someone had to do it. It wasn't me. Shoot. Nothing? Uh. Sure to check out that vlog, right? Yeah. It's not doing too good lately. It's <laughs> alright. <laughs> alright, we're going in the year. Riley suggests this exploration of Factory Obscura. Both me and Logan had a great time here. He said it was a 10 out of 10. He definitely appreciated the creativity that they put into this location. I also did as well. Definitely check out Factory Obscura if you're in OKC. So due to life, I wasn't able to exactly meet up with Logan today as planned, but he did tell me basically his plans for preparation of this upcoming match is going to be working out in the gym and basically doing some film work. And I too am going to be doing some film work on his opponents since I do not know much about him. At the bottom of this perfectly written recap, that's props to Oklafan right there, it says that Logan Knight and the Marvelous Mafia came to the ring and announced that Majestic Championship Management had a decree that if anyone made six successful flawless title defenses that they could redeem the flawless title for a Majestic Heavyweight Championship title match the following show in Henrietta. It looks like all the pieces have been set for a heavyweight championship match on the reservations in Henrietta, Oklahoma. Logan Knight versus Neshoba. Can't wait to be there. So lucky for me, I have seen Neshoba wrestle in person. And one thing I took away from that is that dude can take some pain. He was the target of everybody, it seemed like. And he was just getting right back up and getting right back in the action. You can definitely tell from watching Majestic Wrestling clips from their YouTube. Highly suggest you go subscribe that Neshoba is the man of the people. And he is the people's champ. Today's the day. All I gotta do is bust out my seven hours at the workplace. Then I get to hit the road with Mr. Logan Knight and we get to see what it's like to be the day of possibly winning the heavyweight championship. Before all that, let's play that promo that we recorded earlier in the week and let that simmer before the match. This Friday in Henrietta, Oklahoma, I look to make my historic year even more eventful as I take on Neshoba for the MCW Heavyweight Championship. Neshoba is without a doubt a staple of Majestic, but it just so happens that I am too. And we all know that when it comes to the bright lights, the big moments, and big opportunities, that the spotlight shines the brightest. 
but I'm also not ignorant to the fact that you've been getting it from every angle lately. Between Al Farat and the Psychotic Messengers, you have a whole lot on your plate. But why not do the right thing? Why not let me take that stress from you? Let me become the heavyweight champion and give these people what they deserve instead of having to see you take beating after beating <laughs> after beating. Born to be marvelous, trained to be flawless, and destined to be your new MCW heavyweight champion. Don't be blinded. I'm off work. I'm at Logan here in this undisclosed area, loading up the travel car. And we're about to head to Majestic Pro Wrestling. And just like that, we were an hour and a half down the road, throwing a little left and rights here and there. And we were at Majestic Championship Pro Wrestling. First thing was first, Logan set up his merch table. He had all sorts of goodies from posters to bracelets, t-shirts with different logos on them. Everything you needed to be the biggest spotlight fan in the building. Here we have some pre-match bump drills, pre-match stretching, and some running the ropes. I guess all to get your head in the game before the show. Marvelous Mike. Moments from now, your client Logan Knight of the Marvelous Mafia will be going after his second heavyweight championship to add to his collection. What's on your mind? Well, you know, the only thing I can really think about is how hard we've worked to get here. Um, Logan puts in the work. He, um, one of the hardest working guys in the state, honestly. I'm, I'm actually kind of lucky to be able to manage him. Um, with all that aside, um, I don't think it's wrong to say that we deserve this. I mean, nobody puts in more time to Majestic Championship Wrestling than Logan, myself, and the rest of the Mafia. So, um, can't wait to see the win. Can't wait to see him hold that belt up. It's going to be great. How does this end tonight? It ends the way every night ends with Marvelous Mike Andrews, and that's with a big party. Celebration. I like that. I like that. Okay, so this is kind of maybe a thinking into the negative. But say this does not go your way tonight. Hmm. Will you give Neshoba his props? If, hmm. So I, I can't even think on that level. Let me go ahead and tell you this. The reason I'm not going to answer this question is because you're going to hear it right here first. I guarantee you. I always have a backup plan. I always have a wild card in, in, in the game. I guarantee you we're walking away with that title of the night. Guarantee. I like that. All right, and this is more on the positive. Say everything does go your way. What's next for the Marvelous Mafia? A complete takeover. We're gonna, this is just the first step in the complete takeover of Majestic Championship Wrestling. I'm gonna take this place over and I'm gonna rechristen it Marvelous Championship Wrestling. It's gonna be the best company in the state. I like that. All right, thank you for your time. No problem, no problem. Well, it's showtime. I grab my popcorn, I grab my hot dogs, I grab my chips and candy. I buckled myself in and I was ready for the ride that is pro wrestling. During this Majestic show, I saw all the aspects of pro wrestling that I love. I saw storytelling. I saw shenanigans and tomfoolery. We saw the big guy jump off the top rope. We had a 20-man battle royal. We had a lunch door running around saying, order up.
his opponent, the current Majestic Heavyweight Champion, Neshoba. Now, I'd be a damn lie if I did not tell you that this was definitely a classic of Majestic Pro Wrestling right here. Two staples of the company going head to head for the biggest prize in the company and they did not hold out. Tons of ups and downs, heroes coming back, the villain not letting them get back. Tons of story arc in this story. Remember that I always have a wild card. I always have a backup plan statement that Mike Andrews made. This is coming to the spotlight. I always have a backup plan. I always have a wild card in the game. Dang, there's the wild card. Look at that swing. Let's check that out slower. Logan, being the smart man that he is, is going to take full advantage of this. He gets the one, he gets the two, he gets the three, and you have your new Majestic Heavyweight Champion, Logan Knight. So I guess at the end of the day, no matter how you had to do it, he's bringing three belts home instead of two he came in with. You can't knock that. The spotlight shown tonight, brighter than ever. From me to you, congratulations, Logan. Can't wait to see what the future holds. Hope the spotlight's a million, million luminates brighter in the future. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this episode, my brand new series, The Week Of. Um, thank you, Logan Knight, for letting me follow you, giving me the opportunity to get in there and get the front stage footage, all that. I appreciate that. Thank you. Majestic Championship Wrestling for letting me come. Thank you, Factory Obscura, for letting us view you. Thank you, Oklahoma City, for having a cool place to view. And thank you for watching this. And please give it a like. Please give it a subscribe. That helps out a lot, obviously. Yada, yada, and I'll see you in the next series.